Merry Christmas, Mavuno. My name is Pastor M. Moridi Wanjao, Senior Pastor of the Mavuno Movement of Churches. And I'm so glad that you're worshipping with us uh, today, uh, this last Sunday of 2021. What an amazing year it's been. It's been a year of difficulty for many. It's been a year of grace and just God's mercy for many. Uh, but most of all, we are so grateful that we're alive, that we've seen the end of the year. We thank God uh, for that. And you know, uh, we're going to be having our Thanksgiving service next week. Uh, first Sunday of 2022, we'll be thanking God for 2021 as we anticipate His blessings in 2022. And so if you have any testimonies, uh, any uh, things that God has done for you you'd like us to celebrate, please send us your testimony, info at mavunochurch.org. We would love to share it and also just to celebrate God with you. In addition to that, we'll be launching uh, next week, starting uh, Monday the third, uh, Monday the third. Uh, we'll be resuming our online prayers at 4.30 in the morning and also launching our 21-day prayer and fasting. And you can go on our website and just get more details about this liquid fast that we're trusting God as we start in the new year. I want to encourage as many of you uh, to join us for fasting this year as we just trust God uh, and as we enter into 2022 with a lot of expectation about what God is going to be uh, doing. And I'd like to say a big thank you to you, Mavuno family, for your generosity in 2021, despite the times that we were going through uh, in our different nations. You've enabled us to make disciples in over 30 different campuses, spread out in over 10 different countries, simply because of your faithfulness. May God remember you and your family for your generosity. As we gear up for our Free the Future campaign in 2022, where we're trusting God that each of us will give over and above our tithes uh, an equivalent of a month's uh, salary as a first fruit offering. Uh, uh, for this campaign, we're calling Free the Future. I want to just trust God that uh, He who's brought us this far would even just help us understand how to grow to the next level. Uh, and if you want to just learn more, we've been talking about this campaign. If you're hearing about it for the first time, just go on our website, uh, www.mavunochurch.org and check out Free the Future. There's a button there, Free the Future. There's videos there that just tell you about what we are trusting God for in 2022. Now, as we prepare to give, I want to just say a prayer of thanksgiving over you. Uh, and uh, to God for just blessing us over the year. I want to pray the words uh, of, of Paul in 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 8 to 11. I want to pray those words over you as we end this year. And, and, and this is what Paul says uh, as we anticipate uh, just God's grace to us. 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 8, he says, And God is able to bless you abundantly, so that in all things, at all times, having all that you need, you will abound in every good work. As it is written, they have freely scattered their gifts to the poor, their righteousness endures forever. Now he who supplies seed to the sower and bread for food will also supply and increase your store of seed and will enlarge the harvest of your righteousness. You'll be enriched in every way so that you can be generous on every occasion. And through us, your generosity will re result in thanksgiving to God. Father, I just want to thank you for your people. And I pray that this will be our testimony, every one of us in 2022, that we will be enriched in every way and reach our relationships, and reach our families, and reach our marriages, and reach our careers, and reach the work of our hands, and reach us in wisdom and in passion for you. Help us to grow in our love for you and reach our faith. And I pray that, Lord, you will be enriched in every way and enrich our generosity as well, so that, Lord, it would result in thanksgiving to God. I want to speak a blessing over your people as we celebrate Christmas, as we just honor you who came and who gave, so that, Lord, we could have life. I pray that, Lord Jesus, you would allow our hearts to be filled with overflowing and with thanksgiving. As we listen to your word, I pray that, Lord, this word would bring out faith, would help us to grow and to be the people you've called us to be. We love you, Lord, and we thank you for this community. For we ask in Jesus' name and God's people say it. Amen.